Hello everyone, I'm Brandon with Lenovo and I'm here today with the M93P Small Form Factor Desktop. Today we are going to be replacing the primary hard disk drive. This process will take about 10 minutes and it should be easy enough for anyone to do. There are no tools required to do this. Before we continue, we need to make sure that we're protected against electrostatic discharge or ESD. Make sure to shut down your computer and disconnect all cables and accessories from the system. For more information, watch our Understanding Electrostatic Discharge video by clicking the link in the description. And now that we're ready, let's get started. To remove the computer cover, we must remove two thumb screws in the back of the machine. So the first thumb screw and the second thumb screw. Then we're going to press down on the release button and slide the cover towards the rear of the chassis and remove it. Now we're gonna pull outward on the clips to release the bezel. Now we're going to swing the front bezel open like a door and remove it. So now we need to open the drive bay assembly. To do so, you just press inward on the latch marked with the blue touch point and pivot the drive bay assembly upwards until the latch springs into place. To remove the 3.5 inch storage drive, we must first disconnect the SATA and power cables. Then we're going to grasp the indention on the bracket and pull the drive from the system. So now I'm going to remove the drive from the bracket, which is done just by pulling apart the bracket until the metal pins are out of the screw holes. Then I'm just going to repeat for the other side. And here we have our replacement storage drive. When placing a storage drive into the bracket, you want to assure that the connector end of the drive is aligned with the pull handle end of the bracket. And then you're going to insert the pins into the screw holes on the hard drive and repeat for the other side. To replace the 3.5 inch storage drive, align the bracket with the bay and slide the drive inward until it snaps into place. Then connect the power and SATA cables. To close the drive bay assembly, we need to press inward on this latch marked with the blue touch point and pivot the drive bay assembly downward until it latches into place. When replacing the front bezel, there are three hinge clips that we want to align with the three holes on the inside of the chassis. You're gonna line those up and then close the front bezel like a door. We're gonna press inward on the clips to secure the front bezel. When replacing the computer cover, we want to assure that we're lining up the tabs on the cover with the slots in the chassis. Just kind of place the cover down onto the chassis and slide it forward. Finally, we replace two thumb screws in the rear of the machine. The first thumb screw and the second thumb screw. 